Noah. Oh my gosh. Hold on, let me film you, bud. Chances are you're going to see lots of butts in today's video. And probably many, many videos to come as it is summertime almost. Well, spring. Summer's coming. Going to be lots of butts. If you don't like butts, it's not the channel for you. Sorry. I've got a very special announcement to make, folks. I'm giving away $500 on this channel to you folks that are watching these videos. I'm not joking. I'm giving away money. No, it's not funny. Hillary's gonna find out and be real pissed, but then she'll love me. She'll, she'll still love me after this, I'm pretty sure. You have a stressful day at the beach? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Too much so, fun. I was thinking about, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to give away $500 here on the channel. Uh, what? Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> so you're just kidding, right? Yeah, you are, you want to do that. are a lot smaller. Pretty nice little spot we've got situated right here on the sand. I am not complaining at all. This is a great view. Look at this bench. This thing is sweet. Look at that. Aloha friends and family. Welcome back to the Brian Cusco vlog channel. We've got a couple things I want to talk to you guys about today. First is first. I want to give away some money here on the channel, like $500. I also have three females that I'm certain are going to be laying eggs soon, so we're going to go back to the house after we're done here and check those out as well. But before we get into that stuff, I want to talk to you guys about the last video. Every now and then, about once a year, I like to do an April Fool's joke as it comes once a year. Sure, I was a couple weeks late. I knew that you guys wouldn't let me down and that you'd come in there and slap that like button just like you're going to do on this video. And then I learned in the process that it does actually help. I thought I was just being silly. I was just like, oh, 100 likes or I'm not going to continue YouTube. I knew you guys would come in and, and save me. I knew I wasn't going to be quitting YouTube, obviously. I'll probably be doing YouTube till the day I die. I, in the process, learned that it, you actually do benefit from getting thumbs up hit on the video. It helps share it with more people. And I think that we should share it with more people. I, because it's my channel. <laughs> and because I, I really do try to put out good energy and make things feel good for folks. I, I tend to not pick up the camera unless I'm feeling good energy, with the exception every now and then. But mostly I'm just here to share good energy with people. And I think that's something that everybody could use. So I, I feel like it's the more people out there we get it to, the better. Let me tell you guys about my idea. First idea was, as you guys know, I've got that music video that's coming up on Monday. And I was thinking, I'm really bad at mixing and mastering and making the track sound good. It sounds like crap, honestly. And I wanted it to sound good, so I was thinking I'd put it out there for everybody that has experience to give a go at mixing it down. And then I'd pick my top three favorites and we give away prize money to the top three contestants. And then of course you get to have it on here. But I decided then it's really limiting the pool to people who know how to do audio engineering, which is not even myself and not even what this channel is about so it didn't make any sense and I just found somebody on Fiverr to mix the track down for way less money than I'm going to be giving away here. So I'd love you guys to go down in the comments and let me know what you think would be a great idea for giving away money on this channel. It's my own little Cusco stimulus package for some of you guys that are out here supporting the channel and if you guys have any really good ideas I'd love to hear them because I'm going to do that soon and um, yeah let me hear it. <laughs> hey bud. How are you doing up there? Yeah. It's been amazing so far down here at the tide pools. We found all kinds of stuff. We've only been here for like an hour. We found like a spider crab, which I've never seen down here. This really cool nudibranch Hi. slug creature. And it's just, it's been amazing. What happened to your knee there? 
Well, at first I didn't even notice it until you said it. Um, oh, it probably got scraped on a rock. <laughs> Uncle, <laughs> unplanned social distancing hangout. <laughs> Great Cuscos think alike. <laughs> Hello. Uncle Dave brought down some holiday porter. Cheers. And some winter lager. Dude, as a hugger, this is horrible. Dude, everyone <laughs> knows you look forward to your hug. <laughs> Wait, can you say that on camera for me? <laughs> no. My auntie just reminded me that I I am a hugger. I'm glad that we're getting out here to experience the outside world and see people because honestly I can feel my introvertedness creeping back in with every every moment that we're inside all these days in away from people I, I actually have a great fear of people that I worked really hard to get over in my life uh, and I can feel it creeping back in I, I need to make sure that I don't let it come back into my life so coming out here is very therapeutic Hey Noah. What? What do you know? I know. Spider crabs. What about spider crabs? That they're big. And there's one right there. They have pointy snouts. They're also called um, California king crabs or sheep crabs. And the juveniles put shells and barnacles on their backs and they also put seaweed on their backs and that's how I know. That little Tushi is out. And in a perfect world, I would not be recording with the sun straight up in the sky. A horrible light, but you know what? I think we can all agree that this is not a perfect world we're living in. We're gonna go back to the house in a minute, check out those pairings, but first, I wanted to remind you guys, comment down below your ideas for this contest. Here's kind of, kind of what I'm thinking. I'm thinking something creative, something that'll allow you guys to be as creative as possible. We'll have a first, second, and third place for it. And, uh, yeah sounds like sounds good there's something super majestic about seeing horses ride down the beach it just it makes me feel really good for some reason i don't know what it is but it, it just does i already did that for the intro didn't i before we check out the snakes thought about it a little bit more and i'm thinking i'm thinking that why don't we do some kind of contest where we get people interested in doing something creative, making a creative video talking about some creative thing they're gonna do with the money. I'm still spitballing here, so if you guys have ideas, please leave a comment down below. I would love to get input from you guys because I want it to be a big group type of effort. We're all participating in this thing. And then, all right, let's bust out the snakes. I feel like there was one other thing I wanted to tell you guys before we bust out the snakes, but I can't think of exactly what it was. This here, this here of course is Cindy. And Cindy is an Enchi Firefly clown and she was paired with a Coral Glow Pied 100% Het Clown. So the best possible odds from this clutch are going to be, well she hasn't laid her clutch yet, but she's in, I don't know if you guys can see the ridge on there. Let me get my phone. See, if you look here, you can see the spine kind of has this ridge to it, like this triangular ridge. And that's kind of a telltale sign that a ball python is gravid. That ridge going up the spine right there. And uh, also just having seen it before and knowing that she went through her ovulation and had her pre-lay shed, she's gonna be the first one to lay eggs this season. So we're hoping for an Enchi Firefly Clown Coral Glow that's 
100% het for pied. And the worst case scenario, we'll get normals that are double het clown pied. That's the worst possible case scenario for this girl. Now this here beast, she is a beast. This beast is Candace. She's our cinnamon het sunset female. She's just finishing her ovulation, so she still needs to have her pre-lay shed. And of course, from this pairing, we're hoping to get more Enchi Cinnamon Sunsets like we did last year. This is gonna be her third year in a row going. Hopefully, everything goes well. Her first year, she had six eggs. Her second year, she had eight. If she has 10 this year, I'm giving her the next year off. Just, at least, that's that'll be what I decide to do. Whatever she wants to do, it's up to her. And this girl here, this is Bernice, our super fire. She was paired with Bullwinkle, our super pastel lesser. So we're looking at everything being pastel and possibly, oh, sorry. Everything is gonna be Firefly and possibly um, some, am I tripping? Firefly lessers. <laughs> I think I may have gotten a little too much sun. This is a nice looking girl. And I didn't know if she was gonna be giving us eggs or not, and then she started acting like she was, and if, if this girl does not lay eggs, I'm giving away $500. Also, look over here. Come here, camera. I can't pull this, uh, this tub doesn't come and sit on the table. What am I doing? Bam, I'm fairly certain that our girl Sangria here is having her pre-lay shed. So we're looking at some more blood python babies. I'm looking at the microphone, <laughs> I don't know why. Here's to hoping. You guys wanna see what you guys look like? This is what you look like. That, it's really, it's a little unnerving. It's tough to look at sometimes. 